solidifies what we've been saying all along. It's about leadership uh, being sheriff. It's about identifying problems and creating solutions. You know, when I was appointed, homeless hate crimes and hate crimes in general, Broward County, we led the state. Florida led the country in crimes against the homeless. We just can't accept that. We can't say we're going to tolerate that for Broward County. And we set out, how can we change that image? How can we change that? House Bill 11, Representative Ari Porth, in, got, hate, got homelessness included in, in, our, in our hate crime statute. We were only the second state. Maryland was first. We were number two. And then when we set about, you know, uh, attacking the homeless. Attacking homeless was, it was becoming a sport in Broward County. And it's not a sport, and we shouldn't treat that. They're not subhuman people. They're, they're just less fortunate. They don't have a home. And we need to work to protect them. And including that in uh, the hate crime statute, big, big thing. These two reports that came out, the Florida Attorney General's report, we went from one to number five. We're no longer number one. And the National Coalition for the Homeless, their annual report credits the Broward Sheriff's Office with the passage of House Bill 11 and reducing the tax on the homeless, not only in Broward County, but nationwide. And people are going to be following the model of the Broward Sheriff's Office uh, in dealing with hate crimes and crimes against the homeless. I'm proud of that. Uh, I'm coming near the end of my term here. But those are two solid accomplishments that I'm very, very proud of. It couldn't happen without great partners. The Broward Partnership for the Homeless, the Pride Center in Wilton Manors, um, and uh, the, uh, the ADL, the Anti-Defamation League. They're great partners to work with. And again, it was a joint effort. And because of those partnerships, we accomplished a lot. And that's what I'm, I'm really proud of.